know if I should do it or not, if I should confront Matt or not. Wah, wah, wah. I, I didn't know, I just didn't want him to be around me. All right, um, thank you. Um, no more direct questions at this time? <laughs> I do have I something to add, though. I, uh, I apologize. I have a question before we turn it over to Cross. Uh, you stated that you felt intimidated to come to the court case. Can you articulate how you felt intimidated for me? Uh, when I mentioned at the last traffic stop that um, I have to, I did call a lawyer and that uh, I may do a court case. He, in his voice, he was, you know, like looking forward to, like, felt cheeky, you know, like, he gave me the oh, he got things me. like that I had no chance of winning it. And I initially didn't know if I would win or not, or if I should even do it. Because I didn't want him to be near me at that point. Understood. Okay. Um, uh, can I ask a follow-up question to your question, Your Honor, before I turn it over to Cross? Uh, no, you've, you've rested at this point. You said no further questions. You'll be shot on redirect. Okay, thank you. Uh, Trooper Rhodes or uh, Assistant Chief Dark? Yeah, your Honor, can I, your can I approach the branch, Your Honor? <laughs> you may. Uh, we'll, we'll step off to the side. Uh, <laughs> Councilor Daniels as well, please. What's up? Okay, he said something in that testimony about about tweeting out, and he did make a tweet. I'm not going to say what it is, but can I enter that into evidence now that he's mentioned it? <clears throat> uh, it's a little bit late at this point. Uh, yeah, I didn't know it existed it. until he, cause, cause he mentioned it. One out of every five girls in the city want a GCR? And did you know that they can cost uh, millions of dollars? The well, rotates German people and Rhodes about to make a vehicle centipede tweets. Yes. Is what you're referring to? Just might go poach yes. So it's up to you okay. and I. Uh, I'm. So I can do it. To enter the and just okay, okay, this, um, this fine. I don't mind. He did mention it. He did mention it. Um, you know. Okay, I'll bring up the question. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. You know, he observed them, right? Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to clarify, but I appreciate it. Thank you, Norman. Okay, good. Right. Thank you for the well-timed advertisement, Mr. Tankerman. Uh, yes. Court is back in session. Uh, Assistant Chief Dark, floor is yours for Cross. Hello, Mr. Rocker. How are you? Pretty good. Okay. Why did you get pulled over today? For, as I was told, traffic violations. Okay. What traffic violations? Uh, not blinking when turning left or right. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's go for the first the traffic limit. stop. What what were you pulled over for? I do not count. I do not remember it exactly. What about the second one? You remember? <clears throat> I do not. You want to? Can we reference the evidence? <clears throat> Is that possible? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the report should have been handed over to counsel. Uh, you should have yes. those available. Yes, sir. Honey, can we put that on the screen? Is that okay? Uh, it's a... Yeah. Is there anything leaked on there? Well, <clears throat> PDF. Uh, oh, it's a PDF. Yeah it's, yeah, it's hard for me to get those up it, there. Uh, I, if the court is... Reference them? If the court uh, is willing to allow me to read it from the record... Yeah, yeah, um, ahead. Ahead. yeah, that'd be great. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> yes, uh, evidence A report 79339 appears to be a charge for failure to yield to emergency vehicle. Uh, <laughs> I can say something about it. Okay, I'll, 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 so this was the first traffic we stop, Your Honor. Is that right? <clears throat> that is yeah. the uh, that is the first one in sequence, yes. Okay, um, Mr. Riker, did, did Rhodes inform you of that traffic ticket? Yeah, he did say. Uh, from his perspective, I didn't yield quite enough to the side, and I even told him at that point I thought I did. I did yield it while you know there was an emergency going on, but uh, from his point of perspective, I didn't yield enough, and he gave me the ticket for it. I'm quick. I understand. Um, you want to? Can you reference the, the second traffic ticket for me? <clears throat> I do not count remembering it. It was too many tickets. No, it's okay. You wanna? Could you tell me what uh, the ticket was? <clears throat> uh, it's three times failure to signal. Hmm. Okay. So uh, when Rhodes pulled you over, did he tell you why he was pulling you over? 
he did say uh, I failed to blink. Okay, did you did you fail to blink? Did you blink when you made the tones or did you not blink? <clears throat> I did not, as I never saw anyone else blinking and I thought that's not even a charge as far as dumb it sounds. Okay, but you're aware it is a charge in, in our legal system, correct? <clears throat> I wasn't aware. Okay, but you're aware now. I am. Okay. You wanna can you reference the third charge for me? The third ticket? <clears throat> I think we have to all look for the reports because I don't remember it. Third degree speeding is what I have here. One count. Ah, it was oh. when I, what I was thought to be 36 going on because I tried to activate the speed limit on 35. And I guess I pushed the gas pedal a bit too much when and I went 37 and Matt Rods pulled me over for it. Okay. So do you know the speed limit in the, in the city, Mr. Riker? It is 35. And yes, I and what, making it what speed were you going? Apparently, 37. For so, second. Uh, just to clarify, so Paul, um, and you, and just just answer yes or no. You were you were pulled over, yes or no? <clears throat> yes. You were given a ticket for failure to yield to an emergency vehicle, yes or no? <clears throat> yes. Did you yield to an emergency vehicle? <clears throat> I did, from what I thought. thought right. Would be you. Okay. All right, then you were pulled over again, right? I did. Did you use your blinkers when you were making those three turns? <clears throat> I did not. No, so you, you committed a traffic infraction, correct? <clears throat> Apparently, yes, I did. Yes, and then you were pulled over for going 37 and 35, is that right? Going is a hard word. Right, so you, you committed a traffic infraction, is that right? Yes or no? I did. Yes. Objection asked and answered. <laughs> Just making sure. Sustained. I've got, I've got a, I understand what you're getting at here, Sister Dave. Okay. All right. Um, uh, oh, your Honor, um, I apologize. Uh, I have something to add to my testimony, by the way. I just remember. Uh, Too late. Not at this point. So <clears throat> I'll ask you later. All right. Um, Mr. Mr. Riker, at which point did you make these tweets that you referenced in your, in your testimony? <clears throat> at the early stages of me being followed. Okay, uh, so were you driving at the time? I did not. I tweeted them while I was waiting on the red light. Hmm, interesting. Okay, and why did you make those tweets? <clears throat> I thought Matt, jo Matt Rhodes would be joking with me because he did do it a few months ago as well. He followed me around, and at some point he did stop after 50 minutes, if I recall. And I thought it would be the same for today, but he did not. Uh, you tweeted that Matt Rhodes hates, was it German people? Yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, does that sound like harassment to you? <clears throat> it does not. No, it doesn't. So saying that somebody hates German people doesn't sound like harassment, but someone doing their job does sound like harassment. Is that right? <clears throat> Objection, compound question. <laughs> Honey, I think that means one at a time. Sustained. Uh, break them up into separate <laughs> questions. I understand what you're getting at, however. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to. So, so just to just to clarify, I'll make it two separate questions. So you feel that saying that somebody hates German people is not harassment. Is that correct? <clears throat> Can you recall it? Can you uh, repeat the question? Re-ask it? Okay. Do you think saying that somebody hates German people is harassment? <clears throat> Objection, speculation? <laughs> uh, I'll take a rebuttal on this. Uh, Your Honor, this whole court case is based off his own testimony. You know, this is based on what he thinks at the end of the day. <clears throat> Uh, I am inclined to agree with the defense here, Counselor. Uh, the matter being brought forth by the plaintiff is an act of harassment, uh, thereby inferring that he has somewhat of an understanding of what harassment is. Um, I am going to have to go ahead and overrule the objection at this time. You may answer the question, sir. You need me to ask it again? Yeah. yeah do, do you feel as though... Do you feel as though saying that somebody hates German people is harassment? <clears throat> no, I do not. Do you feel 
that someone doing their job as a police officer is harassment. <clears throat> There's a borderline for the job. It's a yes or no question. <clears throat> no. Okay. All right. Um, let me have a think. Hmm. <clears throat> Do I have any more questions? <clears throat> Do you have any questions, honey? <clears throat> I gotta think. Um, hmm. Oh, I got, I got one. Actually, uh, I do got a question. You do got I a question? Understand... Yeah, come I, here, I, come I, here. Let me get up there. I'll allow it. <laughs> uh... Throughout any of the traffic stops, did you ever imply that you wanted more officers to be there? For the human equivalent, or the vehicle equivalent of a human centipede? I did say it in the early stages when I thought it was a joke. So, yes. <clears throat> okay. All right. I think that's all I got. Oh, I got a question. I got a question. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> is crime funny to you, Mr. Riker? <clears throat> no, it is not. So why would you feel like crime, in this case, would be a joke? <clears throat> Uh, define crime against the law. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Uh, define crime in my position. No the crime that I commit. <clears throat> I see traffic. The, the traffic infractions. <clears throat> it was not funny. No, I don't count those traffic stops as funny. So it wasn't funny, but you you found it to be a joke. Is that correct? <clears throat> I did make the jokes before the first stop. Right, right, okay. Uh, Mr. Rack, you said that you were on your way home to your apartment. Is that correct? Yes, <clears throat> I did. Okay, did you continue to go home to your apartment from the tow yard? <clears throat> I did initially, but when Mad Rocks pulled me over for not uh, using the blinkers when turning left and right, I didn't know how I would, what I would do, because if I turned right again to the uh, apartment, he would pull me over again, and I did not want to do it. <clears throat> so I just uh, was driving around until you know he left me alone. Mm. Okay. Do you have a driver's license, Mr. Riker? I do. <clears throat> okay. And how many how many points do you have on your license? You know. <clears throat> I do not. Objection call. relevance. Got... <laughs> I'm gonna sustain uh, that at this point. Uh, it's beyond the relevance of the matter that's being brought before the court specifically. Okay, I'll, I'll ask you a, a separate question, Your Honor, just to just to clarify something. Mr. Rack, have you been pulled over before? <clears throat> For traffic infractions, time. yes. <clears throat> I did, yes. Yes, have you received traffic infractions before? I did, yes. Did you ever sue any of those officers for harassment? I did not. Okay, all right, no more questions, Your Honor. <clears throat> Redirect. Um, all right. Um, Mr. Riker, um, the plain, uh, the defendant, uh, the defense asked you if you thought um, doing their job was harassment. Um, can you elaborate more on your answer, please? Mm, Objection, Your Honor, asked ask and answered. Uh, rebuttal, Your Honor, I'm asking for more elaboration than a simple yes or no as dictated by the uh, defense. I'll take overrule some more specific objection. questions. Um, I'm going to I'm going to overrule the objection at this time. Um, she's with it is within the scope that was opened on cross examination. I understood, Your Honor. Okay. Right, do you need me to repeat the question, Mr. Riker? Yes, please. OK, my question was. Um, Crystal, can you get that Defense idiot to take his mask off, please? Uh, if you thought uh, them doing their job was harassment, uh, can you elaborate, please, on your answer? It's not harassment if it's just a few, but when Red Matt Rhodes pulled me over many times, there was many chases going on, many people who were speed, and I asked them several times, those people are recklessly endangering people. Why do you pull me over? Why do you prefer me instead of going after them? So being uh, having a traffic stop while nothing is going on is acceptable. I accept it. But while there was an active chase going on, <laughs> several people endangering people's lives, Madrods preferred pulling me over and uh, following me around instead of going after the people who were doing the chase and speeding. 
So just well, to clarify, I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, I, I was, uh, Excuse me. You can okay. Um, I was just going to ask, so to clarify, you're not upset that you received traffic infractions. You are upset that Is there the, a golf uh, traffic infractions continued to a point that you felt harassed. Is that yes. correct? And uh, you said that in your initial testimony, you said that uh, Officer Rhodes followed you around for approximately 30 minutes. Honey? Yes, he did. And he pulled you over four separate times? If I recall, yes. All right. Um, do you feel that he was simply doing his job? Hello, honey. In the beginning, yes. But over the time, no. As I mentioned earlier, many honey? chases were going on. People endangering people's lives. And Matt Rhodes preferred yeah? pulling me over. And I don't hate Germans. Can we counter sue? And not going after the... Yes, that's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. And and endangering people's lives. Uh, you mentioned that at the beginning you thought that uh, Officer Rhodes following you was a joke, based on yeah. a previous experience. Yes. Um, can you tell us more about that previous experience? I do not recall when it was. It was approximately to on February, but he did the same thing. He followed me around. <laughs> I know. He pulled me over for the smallest things. Objection, Your Honor. Facts, not in evidence. <clears throat> uh, Your Honor, it's uh, within scope. They uh, they asked about him doing his job, so I'm asking for more information about Officer Rhodes doing his job at a previous time. Uh, while I believe it to be within scope, the incidents in question were not submitted into evidence. Um, and, and quite frankly, I, I fail to find how prior incidences bring relevance to this specific matter that's being brought before the court. Um, uh, so while I'm not going to sustain facts, not in evidence, I will su sustain an objection for relevance. Uh, let's move along to the next question. All right, Your Honor. Um, I, when you <laughs> mentioned to I'm Officer Rhodes, I'm sorry, I'm get Rhodes that uh, mm. there were other incidents that you felt were more threatening to uh, public safety, what was his response to you? I do not recall receiving a response, but I assume his passive response was to follow me around the whole time. Objection, you're on a speculation. <clears throat> How is it a speculation? He did follow me the whole time. You said you I assumed. <clears throat> Rebuttal, Counselor. Um, you know, Mr. Riker um, is entitled to his opinion of the situation. I said that earlier. He asked, that's, he that's asked the question and uh, the, uh, the nonverbal response uh, should count as a response. Here's what I'll do. Uh, while the question in itself, as it was asked, is not inherently speculatory, um, I have noted down his Mr. Riker's answer, and I will weigh it as such. I will not weigh it as material fact. I will weigh those as his personal feelings, and I know how to differentiate those when I go to <laughs> uh, the objection. We do need to people yeah. Your, uh, your remarks are noted, Assistant Chief Dart. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Riker, um, at the final traffic stop, you mentioned that uh, you were afraid to go anywhere for fear that you would be pulled over again for the slightest mistake. Is that correct? Yes, it, it is. Sure. Did you feel threatened by the continued uh, Come on. Um, traffic stops by Officer Rhodes? I did, yes. How? Uh, the traffic stops, man. Uh, what about that made you feel threatened? That I was being stalked. That I was being followed the whole time. That I couldn't drive around before being pulled over again. Oh, no. I'm scared that I might right, break um... the law again. Um... Uh, All right, uh... Sorry. Thank you, Mr. Riker. All right. Uh, no further questions. All right, Mr. Riker, you can go ahead and step down, sir. Who is it? My turn. 
I think so in a minute. Plaintiff counsel, is there anything you'd like to highlight in evidence? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, let me uh, pull up the uh, the evidence that was submitted. Um, for report 79432, I believe that's the right number. Sorry, let me double check that. <laughs> 79342, that's what you're looking for, likely. The obey traffic control devices report? Yes. Um, okay. Uh, we just wanted to uh, point out, Your Honor, that um, while it does say that um, my client sat through a, uh, a green light. Um, it does not have the, uh, same implications as, uh, if he were to run through a red light as far as, uh, public safety goes. Uh, wait, can we, yeah, can we say anything we, here? <clears throat> can I say something? Uh, you'll be able to rebut when I turn it over. Um, okay. she's just calling her attention to the evidence. I, uh, I think I'm picking up what you're putting down there, gentlemen. <laughs> Anything further, uh, Councillor Daniels? Uh, yes. Sorry. Let me look at the, uh, the next report. <clears throat> uh, report seven, nine, Three, three, nine. Uh, yes, the failure to yield to emergency vehicle report. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, the uh, the report says that he failed to yield. Uh, my client's testimony said that he did yield, uh, and it was uh, in Officer Rhodes's opinion that my client did not Trooper yield Rhodes. far enough. <clears throat> Trooper <laughs> Rhodes, my apologies. Uh, did not, uh, my client did not yield far enough over in Trooper Rhodes' opinion. <clears throat> Was that it for, uh, for you, Counselor? Uh, let me take a look. I like this lawyer. She's great. <laughs> look how many cops are here, dude. The support for the trooper is real. <clears throat> Even Ziggy's here. Ugh. Uh, seven, four, seven, nine. nine, three, four, one, your honor. Um, it states that my client was, uh, going 37 miles per hour. And, uh, my client testified that he was attempting to set the speed limiter to, uh, obey the traffic laws and, uh, is being punished for, uh, not being able to set that accurately. So relevant to that. Okay. Objection. Understood. Uh, does that conclude your, uh, your your side there, plaintiff? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Perfect. So at this time, you. I. Uh... I know I didn't. <laughs> that was intentional. Sorry, I didn't want to speak over the judges. Um, Let I me ask just, you. Just, thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. Yep. We'll Sorry. Go and turn, we'll, we'll go ahead and turn it over to the defense at this time. Uh, Trooper Rhodes. Go ahead, honey. That's me. Uh, go ahead and come on up to the stand, sir. Okay. <laughs> Binder, you're under oath. Uh, please begin with your narrative testimony, and then we'll move into questioning. So, Your Honor, there I was just minding my business, doing my thing at the impound lot. When I see a drafter registered to Nolos, who had just recently been sent to prison, um, so upon him, uh, exiting the impound lot, I realized that he hadn't used his turn signal. I'm thinking to myself, I'm not too familiar with this car. So I'm just going to verify. And, you know, I, 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 I did in fact, after several turns, verify that he was not using his turn signal. 
Uh, and I, I thought to myself, maybe he's having a rough day. You know, he had driven uh, a vehicle over many stairs prior to, and who knows what happened. Um, <laughs> but, but the line in the sand for me was when there is a pursuit heading north on Alta, right past the apartments, okay? And he was in the right-hand lane. I was behind him. And at no point in time did he, one, slow down, or two, pull off to the right-hand side of the lane. He stayed centered as he was for the entirety of Alta. Uh, and as such, I pulled him over for failure to yield. Um, now, at this point, I'm still being lenient. I, I didn't cite him for the, uh, the failure to signal. And you know, that traffic stop goes through. You know, he mentions a few things, blah, blah, blah. At some point throughout um, this whole ordeal, he mentions... Uh, he's got all the time in the world, and I'm thinking, damn, so do I. Anyways, uh, eventually, um, leaving that traffic yeah. stop, makes a left-hand turn without using a turn signal into the lane of travel. Hmm? He then made a right-hand turn on Vespucci without using a turn signal. And then yeah, Trooper Rhodes, if I may. Uh, uh, Counselor Daniels, just in case you're speaking with your client, you are... Uh, you know, I'm able to hear you from the stand. Just so you're sorry, right. sorry, thank oh. you. I was, I was trying to hear. How rude! Also listening to testimony. Apologies, okay. Your Honor. You're fine. Go ahead and continue. Sure. Uh, yes, Trooper Rhodes, you may continue. So, uh, he enters the lane of travel without using a turn signal, right? So that's one. He makes a right-hand turn onto Vespucci without using one, and then when he pulled over for the traffic stop, he still did not use a turn signal. Can you believe that? <laughs> Anyways, I explain all this to him, and, uh, you know, he's going on about uh, a, a bunch of different things, but it, it, I'm not really getting the vibe that he, he feels he's being harassed, because, you know, the whole uh, vehicle equivalent of the human centipede, and in fact, during the traffic stop on the third one, he even asked for more officers. Um, now, he is correct. Uh, throughout the pursuit, uh, multiple times, in fact, uh, or not pursuit, rather, uh, throughout the traffic stops, uh, multiple times pursuits did fly by at high rates of speed. But, Your Honor, the reality is I'm I'm a single person. I can't be at multiple places at once, and I got to deal with what's in front of me before I can continue to do the next thing. And we are we are Big shit, honey. Well staff today. And as such, I don't need to respond to every single call. In fact, I was Two ten, And that call was him <sighs> continuously violating traffic infractions. Anyways, uh, at that point, um, when he's pulled over on Vespucci, I issue him the three counts of failure to signal because there was three. Um, eventually, he makes a right-hand turn on Adams Apple Boulevard, where I did clock him doing 37 and a 35. Now, Your Honor, I know that sounds pretty petty, okay? But I'm going to be honest with you. Typically, not in all cases, but typically, I allow a one-mile-per-hour leeway. Okay, if I see you do a 36, <laughs> most times I won't pull you over. Sometimes yeah. I will, okay? But 37, that's not excusable. I, that's too over. I mean, I don't want to go into the math, but that's like, percentage-wise, probably a lot. Okay? So, anyways, <clears throat> that happens, and he's released from that traffic stop. Uh, we continue uh, west on Adam's Apple. Oh, I also want to point out his concern, as he stated, was that he wanted to go to the apartments and go to sleep. Now, I, I don't know where his apartment is, okay, but I'm going to assume also. And all he had to do was make a left hand turn, okay? Now, if his complaint is the turn signal issue, what do you want? Is that he made a right and a right and a right and a right and a right. Well, I have a, a question. turn signal, but he ain't willing what to make question? Left into the Allstreet Apartments. That just don't make no sense. Okay, if humans lose Anyways, the ability to uh, hear high to frequency Alta, volumes as they get uh, older, uh, kind of four sitting at uh, the, week, uh, your four week the child, and he uh, the hear a dog whistle. Uh, when the light was yellow and stayed completely stopped. He asked me to reverse behind him. Uh, what are you eventually, doing? It's serious. He makes a uh, get out of here now. right hand turn. However, <clears> question, he sat dogs an can't red whistle. Light. He sat through an entire oh, get out of here. and then sat through an, well, not an entire red light, but then made a right-hand turn when the light was red, uh, when I pulled him over for not continuing on throughout the entire duration of a green light on the corner of Adam's Apple and Calais, uh, heading west on Adam's Apple and making a right northbound on Calais. 
Um, so that God was the conclusion uh, of the final traffic stop before he indicated that uh, he was going to um, sue me for harassment. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I know he mentioned he feared for his life, uh, but Your Honor, I'll be like he. I'll be honest, he lying. I ain't never said I hate Germans. Not once. Not once. Never mm. made the implication. Nothing. Um, and again, I, I don't really I don't really know why he felt harassed. But the reality is, if he wasn't breaking the rules of the road, uh, he never would have been pulled over. Um, so this really is nothing but uh, Mr. Riker's incompetence and in his ability to drive. Um, and quite frankly, his incompetence is not my issue. You know, I don't care that you're doing 37 and a 35. It's still above 35. Mm -hmm. And that's all I care about. You know, minus no. one mile an hour. Typically, I get you, given the circumstances. I think that's all I got, though. Okay. Uh, Assistant Chief Dark, do you have any questions based on that? or? Um. Um. I don't know. Uh, I'll ask a couple. Hi, honey. Um, hey. How long have you been a police officer for? <clears throat> oh, but a couple years. No. Uh, uh, it's not something. Two and a half, it's maybe. It's about three, I maybe. think. Yeah, about three. Um, okay. Uh, how many arrests have you made? <laughs> many. Oh, countless. Uh, I, I mean, an estimate. Oh. Objection relevant. Oh, well, that's, that's a hard I'm question. establishing relevance. I'm establishing my witness as an expert, Your Honor. <clears throat> I'll allow it, but let's get to the point. We've uh we've already noted uh Trooper Rhodes' decorated status within the department. Okay, yeah, I'll do one on. question. Uh, Rhodes, have you uh would you say that you've um given a, a lot of traffic tickets before? <clears throat> oh yes, many. Uh, have you ever been sued for harassment for giving traffic tickets before? <clears throat> no, no. Okay. Uh, to the best of your knowledge, as a as an expert police officer, um, is it harassment to give someone traffic tickets when they're breaking traffic laws? No, that sounds like good police work. Yeah, me too. No more questions, John. <clears throat> Ross. Uh, hello, Trooper Rhodes. Hi. Right. Defense lawyers, disgusting. You stated that um, when the first pursuit passed by, um, you claimed that my client did not move over at all, correct? Uh, that is correct. And, or did um, you slow down? All right. And... Um, as you were following him, did you uh, move over and slow down? Objection, Your Honor. Relevance. <clears throat> uh, you know, if uh, if Officer Rhodes is concerned about people breaking laws, then you know perhaps he should set the example and uh, you know do the actions that he expects others to do. Your Honor, this is a harass. I'm okay. sorry. Um, I'm going to allow the answer to the question just because I'm. Or more that I'm curious than anything else, and I don't know that it has any relevance on the case. Uh, but I'm curious. Uh, I'd like to know if uh, Trooper Rhodes sets a paramount example for our community. I'm going to overrule the objection. You can answer the question, Trooper. Okay. Uh, immediately as the pursuit was approaching, I ended up putting my lights and sirens on uh, on the basis that Mr. Riker, at that point in time, made zero effort to pull over. Uh, so you can sort of consider it a the pursuit was passing us, and I was concurrently pulling him over on the basis of not pulling over for those vehicles. What a docs. I don't know. They're, they're really um, bent out of shape. Huh? Look where his elbows that, are, dude. Uh, his elbows should be there, but was it's here. He had all of the time in the world, and you stated that you also had all the time in the world. Is that correct? Uh, 